Hello Aries, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of May. I think you would agree with me that you're at your very best when you listen to your instincts and just take action in a very direct way. There are other zodiac signs that will turn things over in their minds much more than you. And whilst you're busy getting stuck in and making things happen, they're still ruminating on their strategy. Well, if ever there was a week to really go for it and be on the front foot, this is it. It's absolutely made for you. One of the most fortunate of all planetary aspects is also forged. From Tuesday, the Sun is forging a beautiful angle to Jupiter. Now, it's true that Jupiter is still tracking backwards and will be through to the 5th, of June, but that doesn't mean to say it still can't work well for you, and for you, it's in your sector of relating. So if there is someone you're drawn to, or who you want to make contact with around a business idea you have, I think this is a time to take your faith in your hands and just take a giant step forward. People can be inspired by your self-confidence and your authority. It can actually be something that's very attractive in a more sensual way too. But also, your ruler Mars, which is also in your sector of communications, is forging a fab link with Uranus in your zodiac sign. Full time since 2011, it is true that Uranus has shook up your existence, but it's made you much more aware of asserting your independence and having the flexibility and the self-confidence to just go for it when things feel right. And this angle with Mars could see you perhaps embracing something that's a bit more unusual, being persuasive about an idea that excites you. And just in general, you can be absolutely fizzing with energy and other people can find that very attractive to be around. Now, in the very centre of this week, there's also an opportunity to work very efficiently with your resources. And if you are trying to make progress in a more professional or worldly sphere, your ability to work out the politics, to make connections, to dig beneath the surface and just see what's really meaningful is going to be increased a great deal across Tuesday through to Thursday. There is a quarter moon this week which occurs in the rather precise sign of Virgo. But I think that's just saying to you there's going to be a lot of energy around you, quite an electric energy. In some ways almost a lot of nervous energy. And what you shouldn't do is try to achieve too much. It's better to actually narrow your focus and really be very precise in what's important to you. And once you're clear about that and you make a plan that's achievable, then really go for it. Are there any catches this week? Well, I think there is one because from Thursday through to the end of the week, the sun starts to go into a right angle with Neptune. You may encounter someone, perhaps in your everyday existence, it could be a neighbour, it could be someone at work, and could be someone online actually. And this person may be someone who just enjoys raining on people's parades. Perhaps they're going to be a bit dismissive of, about an idea you have, or just damn you with faint praise. Worse, there could be some gossip doing the rounds too. So it's going to be very important that you don't get distracted by anyone's agenda which is not really behind you and supportive. This is a time when you can crystallise some brilliant ideas, be very physically motivated towards them. Don't let this potential for energy to be, uh, uh, to be uh, leached away from you towards the end of this week. And it is possible. Uh, stop you from going for your goals. So you do need to be very single-minded and steer clear of anyone who you know is not so good for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.